Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rayanne, but you can call me Ray. I know it looks like I have super short hair right now, but I swear it's there. <laughs> it's all there. <laughs> Today's video is super fun. So we have the new Ace palette. This is the Nostalgia palette, which for some reason, every time I look at it, I just want to call it the Tropical palette because it has the little like hibiscus flowers on there and that's what that reminds me of is just super tropical this is the packaging on there super super pretty i just look at this and i honestly just want to go on vacation which you know we can't but that's what i think of every time like i look at this palette now like the uh, at least the outer portion of it like actually no even the inside like it just kind of reminds me of just like very tropical, super fun and summery. So again, this is the front of the palette. It does have a mirror and there are 15 shades in this palette. So look at how gorgeous this is. Like, like, like I said, super summery, super tropical, very, very pretty. I love the color story on this palette like and I don't know if you guys can guess what rows you think are the most me but I'm gonna tell you that these two rows definitely are the ones that excite me the most I mean this palette is super pretty but the first two rows especially just like I probably bought this palette for those two rows mainly honestly like let's go ahead and get into these swatches actually um, so I did mention there was 15 shades in this palette, but what I think I didn't mention is the palette does retail for $38.99. I think the majority of their palettes, especially at least the ones that are the 15 shadows, I think they always kind of retail for about that much, almost $40, which is basically a high-end price. Yeah, we'll see if the quality is worth the money. I really liked Ace's palettes. I had the, is it the Oceanic palette and the Flare palette, and I really liked both of those. I had two of the smaller palettes that were, they were mainly used in BoxyCharm, I think. They were the vintage, oh god, I always get these two mixed up. It's either vintage, I think it's Vintage Dawn and Scar, Vintage Dawn and Scarlet. Duh. something like that I know they're the smaller palettes one of them was like more pink toned and the other one had this really really pretty color story with like is it like blues and oranges I honestly don't remember because I will say I did not like either of those palettes I really wanted to and I didn't but the other two like bigger palettes like this one that I had of theirs I really enjoyed so I'm hoping I'm hoping that this one is like that formula. I think I saw somewhere that this actually either, I think this might be a new formula anyways. So that's good because we really wanna like this palette today. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the swatches. Like always, just gonna go top row, from this corner, this corner, second row, same thing, third row, same thing. I'll let you know when I do go to a different row, but for the most part, I'm not really going to be talking too much through the swatches. Try to make this a little bit faster. So this first shade is more of a nude color, so it may not show up very well on me. to the second row. Sorry, these are the first two rows. I am totally going to take this off and then do the third row on its own um but i will say i'm not super impressed with how the mattes are swatching out i know a lot of times matte shades can swatch out kind of patchy and um basically all of the mattes are kind of swatching out that way i'm not super worried about it but i will say that the swatches of them just aren't really turning out that great 
So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and remove this part from my arm and go into the last row and most likely going to have a decent amount of staining here as well, yeah. Especially those pink shades, the pinks and reds. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the third row. Okay, so this is the third row. not that great swatches on my part. We're just gonna take those off and just go ahead and keep going. I do have a massive zit, by the way, like in between my eyebrows, so that's, that's great. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, the mats didn't really swatch out that great. Not super worried about it, but it's kind of like, most of the time it's just the darker mats that kind of swatch out patchy, but I feel like all of those mats didn't really swatch out that great, but I don't know, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm off of my like swatching game, I have no idea. <laughs> like, And I did want to read you guys this description of this palette, by the way, because I read it a little bit before I started filming and it said, the nostalgia palette consists of 15 colors that are meant to inspire fun and creativity to perhaps make you feel nostalgic about some awesome past fun times. Each color has been carefully milled and pressed to provide blah blah blah. Okay, so don't really need to know that last part, but reading that description, seeing that it's called the Nostalgia Palette, and then also looking at all of the shade names, I feel like this palette was like supposed to come out earlier in the summer and it was supposed to be just like I want to say they could have just named it like Tropical or something. And then like some, at least something tropical or like something more summery. And then they were like, oh, you know what? We can't really do that much this summer because a lot of us are still having to quarantine depending on where you live. So they were like, <laughs> just especially with the shade names, like these are the things that you would normally be able to enjoy this summer, but since we can't enjoy it, this is the nostalgia palette. Like that's what it feels like. <laughs> do you have a Beach, stargazing, picnic, theme park, camping, fun, water slide, hiking, carnival, vacation. Like, given some of the things on here, you're still able to, like, enjoy. Like, we can go camping. Or not. Well, yeah, you can go camping. You can go hiking. Stargazing, sure. I mean, you can go to the beach still. You just shouldn't. You just shouldn't go if it's super crowded or whatever. It's probably not best to go on the weekend. But it's just really funny. It's like, these are the things that you should have been able to do, but you can't do it. I don't know. That's what I feel like. That's the vibe that I'm getting from this palette. I have no idea if that's... I, I have no idea. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Just don't, don't mind me. That's just the first thing I thought of. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start a look. I had an idea. Now I don't know if I'm going to do it or not. But I'll be back and then I will show you guys how I got said look. Okay, so I am back literally a day later and by I say by when I say a day later, I yeah. I did a look last night while I was filming this. I didn't like completely like the way that it was going. I was just like, ah, you know what, I kinda wanna change it. I took the makeup off, I made dinner and then afterwards I was like, that was a mistake. I probably shouldn't have stopped because then I didn't feel like doing anything. So it's different seeing it in person and then seeing it on camera, you know, like it's just different. Cause sometimes it's like the opposite. Sometimes I really like something in person and then it doesn't look as good on camera, but this, this looks pretty good. This thing right here is going to be bothering me the whole entire time, but I'll try to cover that a little bit more after. I do have a light layer of foundation on. I usually have somewhat foundation on when I film, and then I kind of either just do, um, whatchamacallit, you know I'm rambling when I don't even know my train of thought. I'm just like, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and move on from that then. I don't even remember what I was saying. Let's go ahead and go into this shade here, so camping. So this look is going to be kind of like a faux cut crease sort of deal. I'm going to start off with camping and then go into hiking out here. So camping will be in here, 
hiking will be like winged out more so this shade is camping and this shade is hiking so i will already i'll say this so actually looking at the palette it looks like hiking is definitely more brown toned and I want to take a different brush. It looks super brown tone and it looks like one of those like darker browns with maybe a more red undertone. But looking at it in the pan, to me, it definitely looks like a brown, just a brown. As you can kind of tell, like it's in this part right here, it actually looks a lot more red than it does brown. And my only dislike with that so far is i wanted to deepen this look up a little bit more than just a red and although it definitely does deepen it up enough for me i think so i'm gonna go into hiking now definitely not as much as i would have hoped like i don't know like you guys can i there's barely a like shift to that like it's darker but not as much as I would want. So now I'm going to take a smaller brush, which I probably should have started using a little while ago, but taking a smaller brush and really trying to have this winged out. Okay, so it's not going to be perfect right now. It looks a little sloppy, but that's all right. Okay, so the next step, I'm actually going to go in and start blending these shadows out. So I'm going to go in with, I'm going to go in with, I totally almost forgot. So Vacation and Picnic. Vacation is this like really bright like neon orange which for some reason on the camera right now doesn't look super neon so i'm gonna go into this shade and then this shade this will be the inner portion to mid and then this will be from the mid to the outer portion all right and then from there we'll go into picnic I do love these brushes, by the way. The, these are from the Elf and Jay Kissa collab. I just really like these brushes. Okay, so for the under portion of my eye, I am going to use a different color. So we're going to go into the shade Flip Flops. So this shade right here. So blend the outer portion of the wing with this. I'm gonna definitely need to fix that. And then slowly start to bring it under the eye. I know I'm doing this before I do my lid, but that's all right. All right, and then from there, we're gonna go back into the shade Picnic. I don't know what it is, but every time that I'm filming, either like the outer or like the end portion of my videos or when I'm actually filming my makeup. Sophie, my my dog, I wanted to say my puppy and then I was like, wait, people are actually gonna think that I have like a puppy puppy. I mean, she is a puppy, but you know, she's 13. I'm sure I talk about her literally every video, but she always ends up getting like super rambunctious when I'm filming and like, it's like, she just knows, and I don't know if it's just her being like, what's up guys, welcome to my channel, I'm the dog here, like, I don't know what it is, but right now she's just like looking at me and like, kind of like whining at me, like, probably just wants attention. And I'm sure after this I will probably end up taking her on a walk. Okay, so, of course if it's not super hot outside, I don't know where all of you guys live, um, but... So when I wake up in the morning, I have to take my dog on a walk and usually I take her on a decent like 20, 30 minute walk just to get her day started and get her exercise and all of that fun stuff. So I usually will look at the weather, especially if I'm not sure like how cold it is. Like if I wake up a little bit later, I always check because sometimes it can be fairly warm already. For my inner corner, 
I'm gonna go in actually you know what? I'm not gonna do the inner corner now I actually need to um, do the lid part and then we'll do the in inner corner I think that makes a little more sense but I always check the weather if I'm not sure like how cold it's gonna be if I need a jacket or anything like that because some mornings are really chilly and then other mornings it's already hot so where was I going with this I really don't know I legitimately don't know where I was going with that I feel like I had a point oh okay that's what it was so um yes the point was when I checked the weather I realized that tomorrow it's going to be 109 degrees out here which it's gotten close to 100 a couple days in the summer usually it stays around like upper to lower 80s or 90s sorry upper upper 80s like mid high 90s but it doesn't really go over 100 that many times at least where i moved to um where i used to live which is about 40 minutes away from here it's almost always in the triple digits tomorrow it's gonna be 109 degrees i i, I don't know why or how sorry sophie's like flipping around on my bed right now so yeah that's great and then every day after that except like one of the days for the next week is gonna be over 100. basically i'm just using this this is an eyeshadow primer and this is going to give me the guideline of where to put my shadow. I let that kind of sit for a little bit and then, um, especially because it's kind of runny, I don't know how if you guys can tell, it, you can just see that it's definitely a little more liquidy. So I give that a minute to kind of dry down and then after that I'm actually going to put glitter primer on. Um, I've just been liking this method as far as kind of doing like a faux cut crease because honestly I can't be bothered with full cut crease like concealer and stuff and it, it really ends up looking pretty much the same at least when I do it. I don't know I'm probably doing something wrong. Ah like dropping my brush everywhere. I put a little bit of glitter primer down and now we're gonna go ahead and get into the shimmer shades. So basically, we're gonna start off with this really pretty like golden color right here. From the golden color, we're gonna go into this more orangey shimmer and then we're gonna do a tiny bit of the pink shimmer on the outer portion. I always start applying with my fingers first. And then I'll go in with a brush. Yeah, I don't know what it is though. Like my dog literally will be sleeping basically the whole time until the parts where I'm like doing my makeup and talking and then she's like, what's up dude? All right, so just trying to create that like faux cut crease action it's always way easier to do it with a brush. Try to make it as clean as possible. All right, so this is about the time where we're gonna go into that orangey shade. This shade was actually more pigmented than I was expecting when I first, when I was doing the other eye, I was like, wow. I mean, I kind of, I blended it out enough, but when I first put it down, I was just like, what? <laughs> okay, so doing the same thing with this shadow. And then now we're gonna go into the more pinky shade. see too much of this shade in the overall look but I figured why not just add it and it'll still create a pretty gradient even though it's not super um it's definitely not our main focus from here I'm gonna go ahead or let me show you so we're gonna take this water slide shade so the yellow matte so this one right here, that's going to be our inner corner. Normally, I love to have a very shimmery color in the inner corner, but I thought this would be fun because it's still bright. And because it's matte, it has a it has enough distinction between this color and the shimmer. Because usually, I, I, I don't know, I just 
would want to do a different color than what I used in the inner corner, but same color, just a different finish. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my makeup. I am going to put probably some lashes on, just kind of make sure everything looks good, straighten this out a little bit, and... Yeah, and then we'll come back and we'll talk about my feelings on the palette so far. Alright, so and this is the finished look. Okay, so uh, a bold lip color? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I never do that. I almost always do like some sort of neutral or like glossy lip. I used to be all about the bold lip colors and then I stopped buying them. I don't know what, what I feel like I haven't bought like a matte lipstick of any sort in a really long time. Like I probably buy like a handful a year. Like that's how many I buy. I feel like this is the shade Mama from ColourPop. I actually don't know because it's so old that there's literally no writing on the bottle at all. I know it's ColourPop, but I actually don't know what color it is. I think it's I was aiming for the more orangey one, which this does look a lot more orangey, so, uh, yeah, I guess that's good. I don't know. I actually kind of like it. Though with my hair and everything, okay, yeah, I kind of like it. I actually do like this look. There isn't quite as much dimension as I would hope for. Like, in here, it, when it goes from orange to pink, I feel like it's not really, like, enough contrast and I can't really see, like at least me personally see the definition between the shades i did kind of have to build up that orange shade a little bit because it just felt like it kind of falls off but i don't know if it's just because it's getting overwhelmed by the pink that it doesn't like you know if that makes sense so let's go ahead and talk about the palette so so far i feel like everything worked pretty nicely i liked the formula of the mattes i felt like they were easy to work with the orange shade like i said i feel like i just kind of lost it so i don't know if that's this shade specifically or just the color arrangement that i did and that's why like at least from here and even when i look at it in a mirror I don't notice the orange as much as I would like to and I did kind of build it up a little bit so like at first it looked really really good and then it felt like it kind of fell off a little bit I'm trying to see if I can just add a little bit more of the orange because it looks really pretty in pan uh, let's see what we got there and it's honestly same thing with the yellow kind of feels like the yellow kind of is getting lost a little bit. I don't know if that was just the way I was applying things or what. Yeah, that yellow just doesn't even want to sit in the inner corner. Overall, I'm pretty ha happy with it so far. I'm going to have to play with it a little bit more to really get my final thoughts on it. I love the color story of it. It's so fun. So summery, just super pretty. With some of the mattes, like, this yellow looks like it's kind of fading away a little bit, so I don't know if it's just the formula, if it's doing that because it's in the inner corner of my eye and my eyes are usually a little more like watery. And even the orange shade, it just felt like it pops and then it kind of dies off, so I don't know if it's a matter of what I used to prime my eyes. That can always be a factor. I didn't really notice it with any of the other shades. I feel like all of those worked really nicely. One thing I will point out is I know I brought down the shadow pretty far under my eyes. I was getting creasing, like it was so far that it was literally like creasing and it was a little hard to kind of clean up, but I was able to fix it, but that was kind of weird. I've never really experienced that before. So again, I don't know if it's my eyes just being more watery or what's going on, but for the most part, I'm liking the way that the mattes are working. I'm just going to have to kind of pay attention to the other shades and see if they're going to be able to keep their vibrancy because you don't want a bright colored palette and then have the colors kind of fade off and just like slowly start to die throughout the day. So that's not something that we want, especially I, I definitely don't want that. So I'm going to have to play with the palette more and hopefully I don't experience that. Um, 
because it's only with some of the shades so I'm not really sure like and the definition might be different on camera too than it is when I'm looking at it here and then also looking at it in person I since I just added a little bit more it's definitely more vibrant now but I had to do that a couple times through filming this so if I would stop I would notice okay I need to like add, like you know just brighten it up a little bit but I wasn't really experiencing that with the other colors um, as much as I was with the orange and then also the yellow was kind of fading away as well they do build up to be vibrant but I just want to make sure that they can stay vibrant because that's the whole point of the vibrant colors right you don't want to have to and and you don't want to have to sit there and be like Oh, is it going to fade throughout the day? I mean, depending on how long you're wearing these shadows and all of that, but I don't know. It might just be a base thing, so I'll have to play with that a little bit more. The shimmers felt like they were working pretty well. I'm interested to see how this pink shade performs on its own. I really do like the, the yellow shade, especially. Like, this one right here has definitely worked the best. This one was also really, really pretty when I put that on... It was actually a lot more vibrant than I was expecting, so that's always nice. I don't mind that at all. And then, again, I'll have to use the pink one by itself, but overall in the look, I feel like everything looks good. Um, and that shade, there's really no complaints with that shade, but I want to see how it looks on its own and how it's going to look just as, like, the main part of a look. So, so far, I'm liking everything. I'm just going to have to keep playing with it a little bit more. The one constructive thing that I do want to say is... I really wish that this shade was a little bit darker and it definitely, I mean right now even looking at it on camera it's pulling a lot more red than what it looks like in person. It looks like a just a darker brown with a red undertone and that's what I was expecting and I really wish that's kind of the color that I got but I feel like it isn't as dark as I was expecting or would have hoped for so you know I mean it's not the end of the world it still is deep enough to deepen up the look not as much as I would want it to be like I would want it just a little bit darker just to make things a little bit more smoky so you know there's that but yeah I mean I am really excited to keep playing with this palette it's just so pretty I literally just keep looking at this color story I'm like there was so many different things that I wanted to do so I possibly will do more looks with this palette. I haven't completely decided. It really depends on what's coming in and all of that. But it's a really pretty color story. I'm excited to buy another Ace palette because at first I was kind of like, you know, I don't know if I'm going to do it. The last two that I got, and I talked about it earlier in the video, I just didn't like them as much as I liked the Oceanic and Flare palette. I still think that the Oceanic and Flare palettes so far are better than this palette. You know, it's like, I feel like so far this is better than the other two, the Vintage Dawn and Scarlet Dust palettes, but not as good as the original palettes, at least from what I'm experiencing right now. I definitely don't think it's a bad palette, but I loved, I loved the Flare palette, like literally loved it. So hopefully I can get to that level when I start using this more. Right now it's it's pretty good. I don't have like crucial, crucial complaints. It definitely doesn't feel the same in my book as the Flare palette, so we'll go from there. But yeah, we'll keep it kind of short and sweet just because you know me. So, so far liking it, but need to work with it a little bit more and just not on the same level as the other palettes. Do with that what you will. I mean, I'm not super disappointed by it, but I really liked the other two palettes that I got from them it was like over a year ago now, maybe even two. Comparing this to those two palettes, um, I don't like it as much. So anyways, we'll leave it at that. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. We'll see you next time.